The fluid design system has five elements that we're playing with and evolving. And each of these is intended to help all of us developers build more expressive and engaging experiences. So let's take a look at each and get a sense for how the canvas evolves. Light. Light has a way of drawing our attention. It's warm and inviting, fluid and purposeful. We use it to create an atmosphere and a sense of place, and we need it to practically guide us, to illuminate information. Now, light's been used by game designers and photographers for years, and with Fluent, it'll be an intuitive way for us as developers to draw focus to the right thing at the right time. Depth. Imagine the depth of the real world transforming your flat designs. Think about the typical frame that contains the information you present. Now, break it apart and reconstruct how those things relate to each other in a more layered physical environment. With better use of depth, we can redefine how people stay focused and organized. Motion. Motion design has a special power to bring all of our experiences to life. And I want you to think of this like a director who's making a movie where the transitions keep the watcher focused on the story, on what the artist wants you to see. We can bring more of that quality to our designs to lead people from one task to another with a cinematic ease, making even subtle actions feel alive. Material. The things that surround us in the real world are sensory and invigorating. They bend, stretch, they bounce like these acrylic cubes, they shatter. We want to bring more of that character to our designs in the right ways, with a physical quality, inviting people to touch and interact. Scale. We've been designing our experiences in 2D for years and years. But it's time to move beyond mere rectangles confined to a plane. The constrained designs of yesterday are giving way to tomorrow's digital worlds, and we're going to use scale to deliver benefits and experiences that once were impossible. 